Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake from MyGamer.com and today I am playing Ready to Rumble Boxing on Game Boy Color. Hit start. And the options are simple. Arcade Mode, Championship, there's options, and then Rumble. I am playing this on an emulator right now, so the Rumble option is not an option while I'm playing the game, but I'm going to talk about that in a minute. The skill level, I'm going to do easy because this game kind of sucks and uh, it's just the thing to do for the stream. Knockdowns, I'm only going to do one and rounds, I mean it kind of won't matter, we can keep it at 5. Round time at 60 and yeah, we want the audio on. Alright, so let's play. Our uh, Arcade mode is simply just one match, no big deal. Whereas championship mode is one fighter after the other and then when you beat the game you can unlock a new character. So I'm going to hit A and get started. So Afro Thunder, B Brown, these are the same fighters from the Dreamcast version. I think you just got to go with Afro Thunder, right? He's kind of the mascot. So let's play as him. And I am ranked 8 right now. So let's do this. So I'm going to let this, this cutscene go. So there's your stats. I'm going to hit A and go to this Game Boy Color video. Listen to that. And you have to watch this every time a fight starts. Michael Buffer there is not animated. It's just a simple screen, whereas the fighters are animated. You might hear a, a buzzing noise. That's not the emulator. The game is actually like that. I own this cart, and I can say that you get this weird audio buzzing on some of these Game Boy Color games. All right, so anyway, how this game works is... Each button simply punches. One is right punch, one is the left punch. And if you kind of hit like down, you can do body shots. You can hit, you hit up, you can do an uppercut. And so this, because I adjusted the options, uh, it's just a button mash. Get him with an uppercut there. And that's it, that's the game. So I'm playing it on easy now, just so I can kind of burn through this. So you can see what's up, but it's very repetitive. Really no strategy involved. So now I'm rank 7, so you have to fight through these handful of battles to get to the end. Boris the Bear. So I'll let this go one more time just so you can see what this is. And I'll shut up so you can listen for the buzz when the cutscene starts. There it is. Did you hear the buzzing? That is on the ROM itself. That is on the Game Boy Color hardware, if you have it. So why am I playing this game? Well, one of the things that I'm going to be, eh, that I have plans on covering are some obscure Game Boy games. I made a couple of videos in the past, and I just kind of wanted to continue that trend just because I kind of like doing it. I got some positive feedback. And one of the things about Ready to Rumble is it's one of the few games, there's 16 Game Boy Color games, American release Game Boy Color games to be specific, that have the Rumble Pack built in, and Ready to Rumble is one of them. You have to watch it. So you don't have to watch this, I'm just going to hit start, and you can bypass it. So they did get My Michael Buffer's likeness in this game which was a huge deal at the time. They have to pay for that because let's get ready to rumble. That's like a trademark phrase and you can't say it on TV without, unless it's Michael Buffer, probably you got to license that out. But anyway, you can see her boxing gloves just melt right into the background. You can't even see. But I noticed that if you just kind of do a hit and run and then each hit, you can see the word rumble is being spelled out at the top of the screen so when rumble appears you can hit both a and b buttons Let's see if i can get it to activate if i don't die oh no she's blocking oh i smacked her in the face oh one more there we go knocked her down that was close but in a normal game if you're playing it on a higher difficulty you can spell out rumble pretty easily and then you hit the a and b buttons i'm going to bypass this 
And then he kind of goes into a fury where you can swing your fists faster. But as you can see, Ready to Rumble Boxing on Game Boy Color, really nothing special. There is no music right here that's playing, which is, I don't know, it seems to be a little empty. But I'm going to say that when you do play this game with the Rumble Pack, it does add something. It does add that extra dimension that helps the gameplay, actually. It's kind of not the same. I'm going to hit A and B now. All right, you can see that I'm flashing. Get that little sound effect. My my punches are a little faster. Oh, he activated his. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Oh, no, I got killed. He beat me, even on easy. So I'm going to hit start and continue and do this all over again. So you don't have to watch the opening, which is great. But if you play this on the higher difficulties, you just get smeared. So the boxers just... They stay on your ass. You can see as soon as I move down or move away, they are right on top of me. There's no separation. The AI is just kind of ruthless. I'm just going to button mash to see if I can see if I can put this guy down. Let's activate the rumble feature. There you go. Smack him right in the face. Afro Thunder doing his little dance. 82%. Alright, rank 4. So we're halfway done. So again, listen for the buzz here, listen. So the voices are incredibly digitized and just heavily compressed. And the Game Boy Color is a very limited system to begin with. So having these motion videos and having some, some voice work is something. You know, it's kind of an impressive feat. Not too many games took advantage of that. See if I can take down Lulu here. And, oh, there we go. So, Ready to Rumble has the Rumble Pack. It's There's 16 U.S. release games, as I talked about. I am currently in possession at the time of this recording, 14 out of the 16. I'm planning on making videos to highlighting all these Rumble Pack games. And... I am going to try to record, that's why I'm recording this just as a stream, just so you can kind of see the gameplay, because when you're recording on an actual Game Boy Color, that's hard to do. You can't really see too much. And, you, and if you bring it over to like the Game Boy Player, again, it's not the same because you're not going to have the rumble feature in the controller when you're playing it on a Game Boy Player. There's a couple games like, for example, Drill Dozer on Game Boy Advance, Took that guy down. And even Pokemon Pinball on Game Boy Advance. But not the Game Boy Color games do not translate over when playing on a Game Boy Player. So we're almost done here. We only got two more battles. Here's this guy with claw drawings. Ooh, he's going to kill me on his boxing gloves. This guy's huge, just lanky. So this game also came out on Dreamcast. I remember when the Dreamcast first launched. That was kind of the one of the big popular games to get. I never owned it on Dreamcast, but I played it because there was a demo. So when you bought your Dreamcast, there was a demo disc. And on the demo disc was... Oh man, I think you can just play as Afro Thunder on the demo. Let's try not to die here. If you hit back, you can block. I don't know if I said that before, but... Along with Power Stone. Oh, I died. So that I did play it on Dreamcast. I never played the full version. All right, let's try this again. So even on easy, you can see it's pretty brutal. The That bottom blue bar is the stamina meter. So if you kind of button mash too fast, you take a lot of hits, that blue meter can go down, and then your punches become weak, not as fast. You just simply won't be able to punch. Oh, that was a nice block. Okay. So switch sides, see if I can connect. Well, I was winning. No, come on. If I can just get the rumble. Oh, there we go. Killed him with an uppercut. Chemo claw. Alright, I won the Eastern Division. So this was just on easy. So not too hard if you just kind of simply button mash, but this is the only time you get music in the game too. But yeah, Ready to Rumble Boxing isn't really... Maybe it was 
cooler back in the day, but today, yeah, it doesn't really hold up. Kind of boring, one-dimensional, doesn't even have link play, and options are limited. Here you go, to unlock Hemoclaw, highlight arcade mode, then press LLRRRLRLR. So you can play as secret characters, there's a couple of them in the game, but that's it. That is ready to rumble boxing, you hit A, and then it just starts over again. <laughs> it doesn't even take you back to the main menu. Which is, so you can't even go back and make adjustments or even try the new character right away. I think you gotta like reset the whole, yeah, you can't even go back to the menu. So you hit start and you can only adjust the rumble feature. So that's it. That's ready to rumble boxing on Game Boy Color. You could follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. Please check out mygamer.com. That's where I write and post reviews and news and streams and all sorts of gaming good stuff, sometimes even interviews. And I give away a ton of stuff, tons of codes, probably about two a week on my Twitter channel. So if you follow me on Twitter, there's probably a good chance I'll give you a code at some point for just a random game. So again, Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. And then you could check out my personal blog at squallsnake.com as well. So until next time, thank you for watching and game on.